Hello there. I believe you are blessed wherever you are all over the world, regardless of the color of the skin, tribe, or nation. I would love to say to the Christianity world, young one day, Jesus is the answer. All right. I would love to say to the Christianity world, don't stop praying, regardless of whatever you may be facing. Don't stop praying. Don't. All right, I would want to just say, uh, go to the point and say a, a short a, a message. I want to talk about the Vatican, which is a Roman Catholic. Uh, and friends, most of the time we waste our time going to these uh, orthodox churches. When I'm talking about the Vatican's, I'm talking about Roman Catholic and friends, meaning SDA, uh, Seventh-day Adventist Church, uh, Lutheran, Brethren, all these churches, all these churches are, are just the synagogue of the devil. If Vatican's didn't remove the book of Enoch on the Bible, the Bible was going to have a meaning and people, they were going to worship God in the spirit and the truth. When you take Rome, a Roman Catholic, it was an empire before. It wasn't a church, it was an empire. It was ruling a lot of places. When they saw that uh, there would be no empire anymore, they converted from empire to church. Today we call them Roman Catholic. Those are religious, those are religious churches. They don't have anything to do with God. They don't have nothing to do with Jesus. Why the Vatican, they brought gospel in Africa? It wasn't the gospel that they brought it to set our people free to liberate us from demons. It was the gospel that they brought us to, to, to Africa so that we, we may not give them problems. That's the gospel. It wasn't having anything with salvation, to do with salvation, or to do with a repentance. It was a gospel that was brought that if we find them, we tell them about this Jesus, they will feel uh, sorry for themselves, they cannot give us problem. That's why you find when you go to Africa, every corner to corner, there is a Roman Catholic, there is a brothering, there is a Lutheran. All these churches I'm counting, they came out from Roman Catholic. These are the sons of Vaticans. Vaticans are the, uh, these uh, Lutheran brethren are the sons of the Vaticans. That's why you find that they are pastors at night. They go to Sangomas, witches and wizards, for a charm. During the day, they pretend like they depend and they believe in Jesus. That's what is happening. They are the drunkards, a lot of them. They drink a lot. Special this, they call them fathers. They drink a lot. Why? Because their gospel doesn't have a, a, anything to do with purity and righteousness. You go to the Vatican, they have a calendar. This Lutheran Seventh day and the discharge. A calendar that if you are a preacher, you must preach following the calendar from January to December. You can't preach wh what you think or what the Holy Spirit is ministering you. 
you try that they will chase out of church. So the madness of Vatican have affected a lot of people. That's why you see Roman Catholic is full of celebrities, uh, full of politicians. Why? Because uh, the Roman Catholic agrees that you can kill. Then you go to church. You can be evil, then go to church. That's why you find that politicians majority, even Mugabe. Mugabe was a, 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 a Roman. That's why he was telling people that I'm existing. This one who's there again, I will come to South Africa. The good part of South Africa, they are confused, all of them. They don't know, are they politicians? Are they from below Sangomas? Or they belong to churches? They are confused. But Mugabe, this one seven, this one, Kigame, this one of South Sudan. I can count all these presidents. All of them, they say they are Christians. But when you check the things that they are doing, it is because of the madness of the Vaticans, the Roman Catholic. Maybe you are younger, you are listening to me. You are still wasting your time going to these churches. Believe me, you, the day you will die, that's when you are going to discover that you wasted your time. The day you die, the day you close your eyes, that's when you are going to discover that they wasted your time. When you check it, last year Pope said, Pope said last year, gays and lesbians, they must allow the church to wait freely. Other bishops of Roman Catholic, they say we can't do that. Why? Because it's not about salvation. It's about the crowd that they need. Roman Catholic is no longer majority now. As Pentecostals were the majority. Because there are three point something billion Christians. Then Roman Catholic, before it was making two billion, it dropped it to 1.2 billion or so. I believe it's less than one billion now. So now we are majority. But they still have dominion because a lot of presidents and leaders of countries, they are Roman Catholics. Then I'm asking you, what are you going to benefit in such churches, in such a religion? Because when you are there, you think that you are right. You are having a link with God. You don't have anything to do with Jesus. If you are a Roman Catholic, you are a brother, you are a seventh day, all these cousins, these churches. These churches are the churches that were created and brought in Africa. Not because they wanted us to receive Christ, but something to make Shaka the Zulu to say, He's a violent man. You tell him about Jesus and peace. You will soften his heart. He will forgive. So gospel came as a religion and a money maker. Because they never used the gospel here as a religion only. They were busy looting diamonds and gold, taking them away. Now Jesus has arrived. In a few weeks, Pope said, we have to revisit the Bible. We use common sense. Meaning we need to alter the Bible and remove other pages that we don't need. We remove other verses that they don't agree with people. But you find that you are younger, you are still following Roman Catholics. This brothering. You know what they do in countries? I was in Zimin Crusade. They told me that seven, that seven the Sabbath, huh? is having a power from the government of Zim. If there is any parcel of food or any cause, uh, they make that thing to come under seventh day. So people now, they are no longer worshiping seventh day Adventists because they want to be in church. They are following those opportunities that are coming from the government. 
They are following that food, that, those food parcels that are coming from the government. That's what Rome is, the Roman is doing. Remember when there was no place of staying for refugees here? Roman Catholic took a lot of them in downtown there. How many billions were sent there in that church to take care of those people? But those people, they were eating white cabbage. There was nothing serious that they are eating. So the Vaticans, these Orthodox, they changed the gospel to money maker. Something that can make fast money. Something that can uh, uh, bring serious people. Something that can bring business. A, a, a business closer to them. How can we have a church that is having a calendar from January to December? A pastor must preach what is written on the calendar. And they program their people who are following them and brainwash them that they mustn't be seen carrying Bible. Carrying Bible is a waste of time. They program their people that they mustn't talk to Pentecostals people. They are crazy people. We are known as crazy people to the Vatican. Why? They are afraid that will open people's eyes. So if Pope now say we must revisit the Bible, we use common sense. He's telling us that we must go and remove other, other pages on the Bible. But you find the younger people they are still following this a, a cult, this religion that is wrong, this Vatican religion. Brothering, you are, I'm a brothering of Christ. Which Christ are you talking about? When they saw that a, 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 a Pentecostals were starting to dominate too much, they started now preaching, putting Jesus inside. They were talking about two things in Roman. Mary, the mother of Jesus, and the rosary. The rosary is that thing. They were not praying in the name of Jesus, they were praying in the name of the Holy Mother in the rosary. When you go to Roman Catholic, all pictures that you are finding, it's Mary carrying baby Jesus. So to them, Jesus, they didn't want to accept him because Jesus is having a lot of rules. Jesus talked about purity and righteousness. When they saw that a, a Pentecostal was gaining momentum now, prophets are being raised every corner. That's when they started talking, diluting their gospel with Jesus. Now if you are a gay, you can go to Roman Catholic, get Merit. That's why they put that here black gown with a small white thing here. Their, their, their knowledge is smaller like that color. See that color? It represents their knowledge. Them, they represent darkness with their gowns. But that smaller thing, that's the one that represents uh, 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 their knowledge. They don't think. If Christians, you don't stand up, and challenge these religious churches. We are going to die, go to heaven, and leave our kids with problems down under the sun. If these charisma charismatic churches, they allow this confusion, our prayer must to make those churches to be empty. Those churches, they deserve to be empty. No one is stopping like a Seventh-day Adventist a member and the Roman Catholic. He will tell you that I have to drink beer eh, 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 as long as I don't get drunk. How can you drink beer without getting drunk? Is it water? Because in the book of Isaiah eh, 28, it's a war to those who drink beer. You, you say, no, there is no... They will tell you that a eh, eh, Roman Catholic and seventh day, there is no a verse that condemns beer. Because they don't, they don't read the Bible. It's time we, as a, 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 a Pentecostals, we challenge these churches. 
It's time we stand up, we open people's eyes. It's time we win souls. It's time. Because there is no church that is prophetic that can be attended by politicians. And though, eh, 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 if there's fraud, yes, in that church. Because no one is dead and evil like a politician. Find me one politician who can say I'm a politician but I'm keen. Find me one. No one. Look Putin. He's, he goes to, to that uh, church that split it from Roman Catholic. They call him Bishop whatever. He, he is split it from Vatican again. He's a friend of Putin and a spiritual father of Putin. How many people Putin is killing? But uh, there was a video, I saw them, Putin being baptized uh, 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 in water, ice water. The madness of Vatican's. I'm talking because this Pope now, he wants to go as far than uh, all Popes. The, 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 the Pope that they, they had. In few weeks ago, he said, Ukraine must raise a flag, a white flag. How can you raise a white flag if someone entered and just bombing you? Then they negotiate. When I saw that statement, I said, this man is very crazy. The madness of Vatican. Check their churches. They are all, every corner. There is this one, uh, that one I don't even count it. They call it Washtawa. That they say there's no heaven, your heaven is here, so you must eat and dance and dive and do whatever I want to do. Watch tower, there is no heaven. No, heaven is here. If there's no heaven, it means that Jesus never existed. That's why this gospel, people that didn't adopt the right gospel in Africa, that's why you find you have a lot of people who are worshipping, mixing as, uh, dead people and gospel. Why? They received the wrong gospel from the Vatican. How many Roman Catholic churches you, you see in town rounding here? A lot. Wash it out. A lot. Brothering and Luther, a lot. Why are they many? They are many because they saw the way of confusing people. You find these uh, witches, they say, I am, a, I am a Christian. But Mama, you are a witch. No, I am a Roman Catholic. I am a Roman Catholic. No, you are a witch. We have to pray, if you are listening to me. We pray. We work harder. We don't sleep. Until, they are no longer majority now. They were majority a few years ago. Pentecostals, we are majority now. Rome is no longer, Roman Catholic is no longer majority. We can change this. If we unite in spirit and the truth, we try to lay a foundation of those kids that will come behind us. We leave them with the right gospel that is not diluted. If we don't do so, this killing and hatred that you see all over the world, it won't stop. Why? Because these people, they do it thinking that Jesus agrees with that. Who gave that mentality? It's the Vatican. Roman Catholic, they were worshipping Mary in the Rosa. When they saw that Jesus was gaining momentum, they have changed now. They are talking about Jesus. Now they say we must allow gains. Then now he's saying we have to revisit the Bible and do addition and subtraction. I pray for you if you are listening to me. Maybe I'm a Roman Catholic. Stop wasting your time. Maybe I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. Stop wasting your time. 
Maybe you are from Lutheran or whatever. Stop wasting your time. Maybe you are from Brothering of Christ. I don't know which Christ. You are wasting your time. There's no Christ in Brothering. Nothing like that. These churches, Orthodox churches, they were brought to make us to forget who we are. But unfortunately, Jesus is alive. So I'm saying to you, if you hear the sound of my voice, I wanted to sit down and tell you the madness of Vaticanism. How they polluted the gospel. And how they continue polluting the gospel even today. They are polluting the gospel because they don't care about anything. No church is richer than Roman Catholics in this world. No church is richer than Lutheran. But if they see charismatic churches telling people they must pay whatever, they are the ones who go outside because they say, no, these people, blah, blah. Us, we are telling people what is written in biblical. But them, they looted all this gold and everything long time ago, which is not written in any scripture. They did it. I pray that this message opens your eyes. Maybe you are a Roman Catholic, you are a Lutheran, you are whatever these churches. I don't want to talk about Washington. I don't count it as a church. It's a gap of fools. The gap of fools who are carrying small books going outside, telling people there is no heaven. It's a gap of fools that doesn't want to admit that Jesus came and died and he was raised after three days. If you are a Vatican Roman Catholic, listen to me. Go and find Jesus and repent. You are a Lutheran, go and find Jesus and repent. You are a Seventh-day Adventist, go and find Jesus and repent. Don't be fooled by that Pope, or they call Pope what? Pope Francis. It's about to die that man, you ask me. You hear in a few, 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 not long, they will tell you he's dead. That's why you want to leave confusion that gays I allowed them. I said, let us revisit the Bible and blah, blah, blah. That's what is happening. I'm saying wherever you are, if you see the sound of, you hear the sound of my voice, you see my video. If you are a bad gay or whatever, stop wasting your time. Look for Jesus. You need Jesus. He's the only one who died on the cross. And on the cross he said he's finished. I'm saying be blessed wherever you are. Don't forget to like and share this video. The madness of the Vaticans. It's not someone who's normal. They are all mentally disturbed. They are the ones who are causing problems that we are facing in Africa. Africans, they are still attached to these demons of ancestors because of the gospel that came. The father was, uh, they call them father. Father was God coming to your house. He's the one who's carrying Bible. You, you are not. You don't care that you must find the Bible. That was the lie. You will open a scripture. It's either is reading lies or whatever. You just say Amen. You'll be already drunk coming there. I saw a lot of fathers drunk. I saw a lot of leaders of pastors, whatever, for this Lutheran and whatever, brother, very drunk. The Bible says, don't make your body dirty by putting it on holy things. Smoking, drinking, all these things, your body doesn't deserve that. Even tattoos, your body doesn't deserve tattoos. But you can do tattoo yourself because you don't want to. I saw Joyce Meyer, that mama, I used to watch her sometimes. But later when I grew spiritual, I saw that she's out of order. She went and put tattoo here. So she was saying the congregation, they were keeping hands. I said, these fools. So you are telling me Mike Tyson's tattoo is fine to cover one side. A pastor, because she calls herself a pastor, putting a tattoo. That's the madness that was created. Because those Joyce Meyer, they just preach. You know, Christianity in America doesn't have a bunch. It's just a religious thing. 
Look, Donald Trump, how, how envy and angry is. But he's a Christian. So Christianity in this Europe and America didn't become what it is today in Africa. That's why you saw they were coming after T.B. Joshua, no matter he's dead. Why? They plan to remove that document when he's dead so that no one will come out and answer. But unfortunately, they have made that church to be famous. That's the madness of Vatican. Vatican is a Roman Catholic. It wasn't a church. It was an empire. Then it was converted to religion, to orthodox. Those are orthodox churches. They don't have anything to do with Christ. I'm saying to you, wherever you are, you hear the sound of my voice. Don't forget to like and to share to that person who's worshipping these churches I counted. Roman Catholic, Lutheran, Brother Ring. You can hear these names are ring, 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 all of them. They are coming from one place. These are the sons of, uh, of, 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 of Vatican. These are the sons of Roman Catholic. All these churches are something of wasting time. You want to waste time, go to Rome. That's why they say, uh, when black people, they say, they say, you are a devil from Roman Catholic. Why they say you are a devil from Roman Catholic? They know in Roman Catholic, that's where you find devil. They were telling me that in location, nowadays in Lutheran, Sangomas, they are allowed to wear their things and enter in church. Which salvation are we bringing to people? If this madness of Vatican can be stopped by preachers, we are going to find ourselves in trouble. We are going to die and leave our kids with a lot of problem behind. I'm saying to you, you hear the sound of my voice. Don't forget to like and share. Remember Jesus loves you. So do I. May God bless you. Thank you.